Brad Mondo, I am so sorry. And now we wait. Wish me luck. I don't even want to start this video. This wasn't even supposed to be a video. Um, so last night, I decided that it was a good idea, a great idea, a wonderful idea to try and dye my own hair. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, a couple months ago when we first started lockdown, I think it was only like, what, day four, day three, day five? I dyed my own hair, I did the two front pieces of my hair and gave myself a few very subtle highlights. It turned out kind of fine and it wasn't that drastic of a difference. And that's all I was kind of going for this time. I thought, yeah, I'll just, I'll touch up my balayage. It can't be that hard. It will be totally fine. I've got a different dye this time that I hadn't used before. It was a box bleach. And I used a box bleach last time. So I thought, oh, it'll be the same sort of thing, right? Like, it can't be that different. So I sectioned out my hair. I started like pulling sections, painting on just like stripes of highlight and filling in the gaps. I was doing my own little balayage, obviously leaving out the ends because I didn't want to overlap the blonde. I thought I was doing a pretty good job. I also had some Olaplex, so I used that so it was all healthy and everything. I thought it was going to be totally fine. And then I dried my hair. And, um, it looks like this. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, to be real, like, the underneath isn't too bad. I wanted to just lighten things up a bit because my hair was starting to get really dark on the top and it was really, really dark underneath. And I mean, to be fair, the, the box bleach that I used, it definitely lightened up a lot of the pieces underneath really well without, you know, going too orange. But um, I look like a Kinder Bueno bar. That is actually what Fab Han said to me on Twitter. She was like, it reminds me of a Kinder Bueno. And I was like, you know what? You're exactly right. I've pretty much got cow print in my hair. And it's really bad. It's really, really bad. Where does this piece even go? Mum, I know you're watching this and I'm sorry. I'm gonna try and fix it. Don't worry, at least my hair isn't super damaged. Like it still feels really soft. It's only just like those stripes that I've freaking bleached. I didn't lose any hair. It hasn't been a major disaster. And I'm hoping that in today's video, I can fix it. This was not the plan for today's video. I was just planning to do my hair. I started filming a TikTok of it, all confident. And I was just gonna come into Friday's video and be like, oh yeah, like, you know, nobody will really even notice that I've just touched up my hair, but I can't exactly ignore this. Like, oh my God, oh, look at this bit under here. There's just random blotches of white. When I put it up, I've got some like white, Draco Malfoy pieces at the sides and also underneath look there's a bunch of straight up white blonde pieces and there's some yellowy pieces and there's some like light brown dark blonde natural hair color pieces to be quite honest with you I don't know what I was thinking in my first video where I dyed my own hair I was like Brad Mondo I'm so sorry but this time genuinely Brad Mondo I am so sorry if you're watching this video I should have just left it alone. I should have just left it alone, but I was getting bored. I was getting impatient. I couldn't be bothered to wait until hair salons opened. So I thought I would just do it myself. I'm not gonna do that again. If I tie it in a ponytail, it is just a stripy, blotchy mess. I don't even know what the back looks like. I haven't even looked at the back. Probably just as bad. What does it look like? Probably awful. So today I'm taking you on a journey to try and fix this. I'm about to go out to the supermarket. I'm gonna hope and pray that they've got a hair dye that can fix this. I'm looking to get a hair dye that is semi-permanent because I don't wanna do any permanent damage, even though the permanent damage has already been done. I don't wanna get like a permanent light brown just in case I completely fuck it up. I wanna get a semi-permanent dark blonde color to just blend in with my natural hair color. And then I'm gonna try and do a root melt and basically take it back to exactly what it was like before I dyed it. <laughs> so basically me trying to dye my hair and make it blonder has been a complete fail because we're about to try and dye it back to how it looked like before. But it, you did this for what? Why not? <laughs> Why? Why not? Why though? But I know that because I have just bleached my hair, uh, apparently you need to go for like a warmer, dye like inject some warmth back into it otherwise your hair can turn green but if you want to come with me and uh see if i mess up my hair even more then feel free to join and watch the end of this 
video. You know what? At least my nails look cool. Check these out. They only took me like three hours. Happy Pride Month. So I've just got back from the supermarket. We needed to get some food in anyway, but they didn't quite have what I was after. I remember when I was about like, I don't know, maybe 14, I dyed my hair using one of the L'Oreal Casting Creme Gloss colors, which was like a dark blonde color or it was called like ash blonde or something and i just remember at the time it turned all of my hair like my natural hair color oh my god it looks so bad in this light bottom of it is like silver this bit's yellowy orange and then i've got the brown bit uh anyway yeah so i was looking for a semi-permanent dark blonde or ash blonde color they didn't have any all the colors that were like dark blonde or any kind of blonde or like anything that would match my natural root were all permanent colors and I don't want to fuck around with permanent colors just in case I like massively mess it up it doesn't match it goes even more patchy I want to get something just as a temporary fix that I can do in the meantime between now and when the hairdressers are open and hopefully they can fix it and make it look decent I'm so sorry to any hairdressers that are watching and I'm so sorry for my hairdresser is watching Jess I'm really sorry that you're gonna have to fix this I got a light brown shade which is obviously a lot darker than my natural hair color i'm kind of terrified that was the closest non-permanent color with no ammonia or anything because i don't want to damage my hair any more than it already is but just in case that doesn't work i've got some root disguise root concealer which is by a brand called salon savior i've got dark brown because this one looked more ashy and i've also got light brown so just in case that doesn't work I've got those as my backup that I can use temporarily for videos and stuff. Wish me luck. Mm, what have I done? Like, look at this. What is going on? If this goes wrong, I'm thinking, you know what? It's okay. It's only semi-permanent. And I'm sure I can get it fixed in like a couple months time at the hairdressers. It does actually say on the top, new look, same shade, dark blonde. I'm sorry, but in what world is this color dark blonde? Well, I guess that's why they've changed the name because that's not dark blonde, is it? I'm not being funny, but I'd call this more of a chocolate brown. If you look at the actual like natural color of my hair underneath here, this bit is actually quite dark. But for some reason, the top of my hair is like my natural color is a little bit lighter. But if all of it goes like this kind of color, as in like all of my roots go that kind of color, I won't be too mad at it. I think I'm gonna try and leave out a couple of like front pieces just as I've got a bit of blonde and then obviously I'm only gonna do the roots down to maybe like here. Pretty much what it was before. I watched a few hair tutorials on a root smudge and they all use like a comb to kind of blend it down or like a brush. Why did my brush go? Also as well, I do just wanna say my next video that is going up like on Monday, that was pre-filmed and I have normal hair. So no, I didn't fix it by then. Also this time I need to actually remember to time it because yesterday I didn't look at the time when I put it on and then I just left it on for probably like 45 minutes. I have used this brand before and from what I remember, it was pretty easy. Oh wow, okay, it says to only leave for 15 minutes on your roots. I just need to mix these two together. I'm gonna put it in a bowl and then I've got a couple of like hair dyeing brushes. Right, so it's been 15 minutes. I don't think I've ever looked better, to be honest. I'm about to wash this out. <laughs> Fingers crossed, it doesn't look too bad. How was my hair on this in that time? Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Why does it look black? Just a word of warning. If it gets on your skin, take it off immediately. I'm gonna go dry it now. It's really, really dark. I might have just made this worse. We'll see.
Oh my god, I'm having my pretty little lies moment right now. I feel like I'm A. I want to put some makeup on just because I wanted to see what everything looked like all together with my makeup on. You know, like when you get new hair and you kind of just have to make yourself feel as normal as possible. So before I show you guys what the finished result looks like, I am going to read you some of the replies that I had on Twitter because I was posting all about this last night on Twitter and a load of you guys were replying with your reactions. Uh, so if you're not following me on Twitter, I would highly recommend doing that because that's where you will find out most about me, I think. I think the people that follow me on Twitter definitely have the most insight into my life and how much of a disaster I am. So I tweeted yesterday, so I'm dyeing my hair and you know when Justin Timberlake looked like he had noodles for hair, that's currently me because my hair looked like this. I will put this picture on the screen. And I posted that picture and said, Brad Mondo, I'm so sorry. Then people were replying being like, oh my God, so what are you doing? And then I said, OMG guys, my hair is so, so bad. It looks like I've done cow print. There's blobs of bleach everywhere, for sake. And then I posted this picture and just said, guys and these were some of the reactions that i got so gina from oh my g who i absolutely love said if you stand far back tilt your head squint your eyes and turn the lights off it looks fab emma just replied oh mate and then said the most beautiful tiger i ever did see fabulous hannah replied saying this gives me kinder bueno vibes and i said honestly same looks kind of tasty to be honest it's not that bad <laughs> natalia said i'm trying to think of something positive to say but i really got nothing i mean same so if does not do hair from Lauren. I love this so much. This one was one of my favorites. They replied with Tony the Tiger. Is he called Tony? Like the Kellogg's Tiger saying, great. Because to be fair, that's kind of what my hair looked like. I'm sorry, Soph, but this is a Karen hairstyle. Jen, you were not wrong. I really did have that, can I speak to the manager hairstyle. Anyway, thank you guys for your replies. They really made me laugh. And also thank you to those of you that were actually like trying to give me some positive, like, recommendations and after all of that time and effort my hair now looks like this so it's definitely not perfect i don't know what is going on with these blonde pieces at the front i wanted to leave out a couple of blonde bits because i didn't want it to be like fully brown like all the way around so i left out these blonde pieces but i mean those are pretty messed up aren't they but i'm definitely happier with it now than i was before i think it's done a decent job. I mean, you can still see the stripes. The stripes are still there, um, but it's definitely kind of doled them down. Underneath, it's not quite as like harsh, blonde from the root. Uh, like I've got a bit more of a shadow going on here, which is what I was going for. And more importantly, the underneath of my hair now doesn't look like Draco Malfoy. Those like white pieces at the front of my hair actually took really well to the dye and the underneath is now pretty much like back to my natural color if okay it's a bit like darker and a bit warmer than my natural color and obviously like i've still got these fat stripes through the front but like compared to how it was ow <laughs> um yeah compared to how it was i think it looks a lot better i mean it's not perfect is it like I tried my best to kind of blend the colour down. Oh my god, my ear is so red now. But obviously, I'm not a professional. Um, I think the main thing for me that I'm happy with is that my hair feels in good condition still and it's not falling off my head. So, I've still got my hair. It still feels healthy. It's not quite as harsh as it was before. I'm hoping it's fixable at the hairdressers. I'm now about to message my hairdresser, which I probably should have done when this first happened, but I had a feeling that she was gonna say, don't touch it, don't put anything on it, you'll make it worse. And I didn't wanna be told that because I didn't wanna walk around looking like Tony the Tiger or whatever he's called. I don't know what the back looks like. Does the back look normal? I don't know. But to be honest, I don't think it looks too bad anymore. It kind of just looks how it did before, but with uh, a few stripes. But you know what? I can deal with this. I can deal with it. Also, I just want to give a shout out to a product. This is not an ad. This is genius. This is by Fudge and it's called the Clean Blonde Violet Tri Blow tree blow and it's a violet toning blow dry spray so i do use the fudge um purple shampoo i don't use it too often though because oh my god that stuff is strong it also will stain your hands so be careful but that purple shampoo is amazing if you've got like really yellow hair i would definitely re definitely recommend the fudge one also the bleach london one is really really good for purple shampoo this i had never used it before until yesterday i think it's got heat protectant in it as well but as you can see it's like a purple 
liquid so once you've washed your hair sometimes i wash my hair and think oh i should have left my purple shampoo in a bit longer because it still looks a bit yellow so there were a few pieces under here that were looking really yellow and you just spray this into your hair and then blow dry it into it which i think is the most genius thing and it like counteracts the yellow without having to leave purple shampoo on it for ages so i use that throughout the ends of my hair and it really helped to like neutralize the yellow tone so i would highly highly recommend that i don't know if any like cheaper brands make them um but it really works so right so i think that is the hair saga over i'm so glad that we're ending like this and not like this mum i'm sorry any hairdressers that are watching i'm sorry brad mondo i'm sorry i guess this is the end i am just gonna answer a question of the day if you guys have got any questions for me leave them down below with the hashtag question of the day today's question comes from Huss Larabe and they have said I'm really sorry if I got your name wrong by the way they've said what's your favorite spot treatment as well as dry skin treatment so my favorite spot treatment is the body shop tea tree oil the one that comes in like a little glass bottle it's not 100% tea tree oil, which I have put on my face before, but putting like straight up tea tree oil on your face is very like harsh and it will make your skin incredibly dry in those areas. I really like the Body Shop's tea tree oil. I think it's like mixed with a couple of other ingredients or like it's diluted. So that's my favorite spot treatment. Basically anything with tea tree oil in it, I find works really well on my spots. My favorite dry skin treatment. So what I've been using on my eczema on my face, like I've got a little patch of eczema here and also like around my eyes, I get it. I was prescribed this cream from the doctor, but you can buy it from like boots and different chemists. It's called Cetraben cream and I've been using that on the dry patches on my face and it's really, really good. So I definitely recommend that. I've got a massive bottle as well. I have got like, I think 500 grams of this cream, <laughs> which was prescribed for my eye. But at least it will last me forever. So um, yeah, I think the giant bottle is like 10 pounds. Right, I'm gonna go. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry to everyone for having to put you through that and putting myself through that. I should not have done that. But if anything, let's all learn a lesson from this. Don't try and highlight slash balayage your own hair because it probably won't go how you thought it would in your head right um my next video i'm actually gonna have normal hair because i filmed it like last week if you enjoyed this give it a thumbs up if you want to subscribe subscribe that would be great and um i'll see you guys in my next video bye